Hey gang, it's Mr. Chow Miller. I'm going to show you today how to sketch a cube like the one you see here on isometric graph paper, which is the paper I have here and presumably the paper I'm giving to you in class. All right, basic idea of the cube is you're going to always see three sides, top, front, and side. You're never going to sketch these back areas or the bottom that you can't see. I'm going to start by taking this point on the cube where these three lines meet. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a dot on my paper to indicate that that's the same point. Now on this paper and on your paper as well, two of these little lines is going to equal one side of the cube. So this side of the cube from that starting point, one length there, up and to the right, I'm going to draw a line up and to the right that covers two of the lines on this graph paper. Simple as that. And this one here, up and to the left, two. So I'm going to do the same thing. One, two. Nice and straight, straight as I can. Now from this starting point, I see it goes straight up. So I'm going to go straight up. One, two. From this starting point, from this point, it goes straight up. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Straight up like that. From this point here, it goes straight up. And that's really horrible. I want nice straight lines. There we go. That's much better. From this point here now, again, you got up and to the right, up and to the left. Up and to the right, up and to the left. And from this point here, which is this point, it goes back to the left. So I'm going to go back to the left right here. And then from here, it goes back to the right, back to the right. A lot of people make mistakes here. They start to draw in extra lines that they don't need. Don't do that. You'll lose points. Only thing we're going to do to this now is we're going to shade it. I always leave my top clear. One side I do very dark, just like this. I know, you're excited. You can't wait for the big finish. Bam! Look at that. And then one side we're going to do nice and light shading. By shading three different shades, or actually two shades and one blank, you give a nice perspective that really makes it look like a three-dimensional character. That's all there is to it. Good luck.